creating database mapping files. The A label program can print labels using data from a database table. In order to make the printing process exact, it is necessary to tell the A label program which columns or fields in your database table will be associated with what objects in the label design. Such an association is made by creating what is called a database mapping file. Anytime you want to print using data from a database table, you should first create and save your label design in an items template file. Then you need to select or use a particular database table that contains the data you want to print. Usually this will be a general table but the master mailing list table can also be used. After creating both the table and the items template, then you can create a database mapping file. A database mapping does not have to use all the columns in a table, nor does it have to use all the objects in an items template. Only those template items that have variable data to be printed need to be referenced by a line in the database mapping file. In very special cases, the same database field could map to more than one template object. To give an example of how to create a DB mapping, suppose you create a general table with the name employee list. This table has six columns or fields named employee last name, employee first name, employee ID number, employee job title, employee telephone, and employee picture. Note that the picture field is just the name of the person's picture file that will be kept in the same directory where the items template file is stored. Now that you have seen the columns in this table, we are going to close it. Next, assume you design a template like the following that you will use to make name badges. We would like to print name badges like this using data from the columns of the previous database table that was shown. First, we will show the index numbers and field names for the employee name badge design. These names are only temporarily displayed. Now that we have seen what our labels should look like, we should be ready to create the DB mapping. To create a database mapping file, you should first open the items template file for the label design. Then open the database table you would want to use. Finally, under the database file menu item, select create a DB mapping and you will see the following dialog. Because we previously opened the items template and the database table, this dialog shows the field names in the two lists on the extreme left and right. All you need do is move an item from the left list into the middle and move the corresponding template object name from the right list into the middle. In this example, we will match the last names and the first names. The employee ID number is matched with the barcode. The job title and the telephone numbers are also made to match. This ties each database field to an object on the label. After setting up all the associations, you would click the button with the title, Save the DB Mapping. We generally recommend you name your DB Mapping file, starting with the same key name used for the items template file, and follow that key name with the words DB Mapping. Make the file type a text file with a .txt extension. In this example, the file name will be employee name badge db mapping dot text. You will need to create a separate db mapping file for each different items template you intend to print with. When it is time to print from a database table, you would normally first open the items template or label design file. 
Second, open the database table. Third, tag only those rows in the table that you want to print. Finally, when you initiate the printing, all you will do is open the corresponding DB mapping file and the program will take care of the rest. You don't need to create a DB mapping file every time you print data. You normally create the DB mapping file only once and then you reuse that same DB mapping file each time you print new data. Of course, if you change your items template, you would probably also need to upgrade or update the corresponding DB mapping file.